Harari Ghani. Harari Ghani. Hi, everyone. Um, it is um, Sharonda and, and Brian. Uh, and we are the owners of the Brandy House Academy. And we do education and training um, around Black history um, and anti racist work. Um, and so we are excited to be working um, with uh, Reflect Media on this Kwanzaa series and highlighting um, some of our ancestors that were heroes and sheroes um, of this movement and embody the essence and words of each day of Kwanzaa. So today is day five and it is Nia, which means purpose. And your purpose is essentially, you know, the way you, um, see where you build and develop your community uh, and make that part of your life's work you know it's not necessarily something that you have to do for uh your entirety so it's not like you can't also be a firefighter or mm -hmm. you can't also be an accountant or whatever but that purpose of, of, of nia is just saying that a part of your purpose in life is to try and um uplift your community Mm -hmm. And so one of the people who we decided that we would highlight for this day is um, Harriet Tubman. Um, and again, like when we talk about purpose, um, it's, it's what, what guides you? What, what's the force that pushes you? What, what's your reason for, for being? Uh, and I, I like to talk about Harriet Tubman um, and start with the fact that she was she was free in the north. She had escaped and she had gone gone north and she had a job, but her she knew that that wasn't her purpose. Her purpose was to serve as our Moses, as the conductor of the Underground Railroad, and that meant that she had to jeopardize her her safety um, to fulfill her purpose. It is this greater mission, and. I think all of us have those moments. And like Brian was saying, it's not her, it wasn't her entire life. She'd done so much. She was, you know, um, a leader in the Civil War. Um, she um, was uh, a speaker. She did all these wonderful things, but she knew that she had a purpose to go and do this, this dangerous, dangerous hard work of going on to slave pan plantations and emancipating people and going through the wilderness and trusting them multiple times. And so she's just. Yeah, just a phenomenal person. And, and I think, you know, people sometimes look at it and they say, oh, well, you know, I couldn't do what they did. You know, like these things are just so far above me, this idea of, you know, someone having this purpose and doing this. But I think that you can do a version of it today when so often people say, you know, I'm just exhausted. Mm -hmm. I am so done with talking about racism. And when you think about what other people have had to do, you know, like when she says she, uh, when Sharon says that she puts her, her safety and her security at risk, you know, there are people in our community who maybe get mm -hmm. to a certain stage or a certain place and they say, well, I don't really feel comfortable saying this or speaking out because, you know, I don't, I don't want to be attacked or I don't want to lose my position or station. You know, having that purpose in your life is a reminder that, you know, you are supposed to, when you get to a station where you can afford to speak out, that's when you should. And we have to remember the courage of those who've gone before and say, well, you know, they've done so much. The least I can do is speak out. The least I can do is to try and um, make it a part of my life's purpose to uh, to reach some people or to teach someone about something. And so mm -hmm. one of the, the reasons why we highlight people like Harriet Tubman or say an Ida B. Wells who was mm -hmm. so powerful uh, in the anti-lynching movement is because these were people. I mean, th these, <laughs> these aren't superhuman individuals. Mm -hmm. These are people who had families they had to take care of. They had, you know, kids that they needed to feed. They had a, a job to do. They needed, you know, to keep the lights on. And yet they still made it a part of their life's purpose to do this great work. And a lot of the, the great work they did came with these step-by-step uh, -step movements. You know, that, how they say it's not the mountain ahead of you, but the grain of sand in your shoe that, mm -hmm. that wears you out. I mm -hmm. mean, oftentimes we, we 
lose sight of our purpose because we're worried about what someone's gonna say on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Mm -hmm. Or we lose sight of our purpose because we're worried that someone at work might feel uncomfortable if we speak out on racism. Mm -hmm. And part of that purpose and the reason why we highlight these people is just to you know, give us an example of this is the work they did with the tools and resources they had. What can we do with what we have if we make uplifting our community part of our purpose in life? And I think for me too, as a writer with Ida B. Wells especially, it's, it's good for me to call on her as an ancestor, right? To understand that she, she, she wrote these things and she did amazing things in spite of all these odds. And so if I have something that I wanna say, and a lot of times what I have to say, I know people aren't gonna like, I know that it's, it's putting my family, um, not at risk, but you know, it's, it's calling attention. There, there are real consequences to speaking out against racism. Um, but I call on Ida B. Wells. I try to channel her spirit and I ask her to come with me um, and give me the strength that I need to do this little bit of my purpose, right? My purpose isn't to be the leader out at a, at a march, but I, I can write and that's what, that's what I do. And I try to be authentic and, and holy and, um, and and reflective that this is my contribution to black people. And so I, it's sacred, your purpose. Right, part of your purpose is to fulfill what role you can do. And we all have different roles. Mm -hmm. You know, part of, of your purpose might be, I'm just trying to raise my kids to be critical thinkers in this world so that they can, uh, help understand what's going on around them and uplift their community by um, being able to you know, speak out and fight against injustice or to uh, push the community forward when we're not being as progressive as we should be. You know? So understand that your purpose isn't necessarily um, you know, this uh, you know, road to Damascus where you've been hit <laughs> by the light and now it's like, okay, now I'm gonna eat, sleep, <laughs> And, 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 and drink, you know, the movement, but maybe it's just, you know, the small quiet things you can do in your day to, you know, put information out there that you know people need to hear or mm -hmm. to reach out to somebody who you think uh, is, is hurting. You know, uh, maybe your purpose is just, you know, to be a reminder by your actions that, you know, we can, we can do more, we can be more. And, and just and as a final note is that to remember that our purpose is interconnected, um, that all of us have a role um, and all of us have a purpose. And it's up to you to find out what your purpose is and to honor that. And that's how collectively we get free. Thank you. Thank you.